first to know in SMP TV. I'm a car bar at the bar in SMP TV platforms. Now, in fact, I remember some and I bought a deal of my gun. And yes, some day and yes, some day cry, especially with people or more air share say or minor able to pound a deal to pepper so be. Papa, I may be kind of one semi if I gonna follow the donor in the yipa because of the numerous exploits in the field of fiber optics and a nanotechnology across the world globally. Now, sites like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever, air function now, it is as a result of the invention of this Ghanaian. He is no other than Dr. Thomas Mensa. Now, I have a because a net day, and I know my Ghana, a while we home one. Now, you jam former deputy finance minister, the honorable John Kuma. Now, what you da, ya a course, so ever just so Ghana 14 is so. Did you hear Senka a few twenty four? You said yes, you know, at least in car and your ma a be a be a be come down, kakra. But unfortunately, the family of Dr. Thomas Mensa, the Ghanaian inventor, now we based in the United States. At the crater but to appointing say almost this year dr thomas Mensah can't you know dr thomas Mensah can't as fast as you be dr thomas Mensah has been confirmed dead at the age of 74. now this unfortunate event this very very heartbreaking news occurred at what the kumasi Kalek hope exchange hospital it was fantastic now, a busy unfortunate moi, bears a busumi mienuni, and a doctor Thomas Mensa, nana home farnut, na oja yare, a word, the Kumasi Kale Group Essing Hospital. In Tina, ya caught na bra, caught na bra, caught na bra, na ben a watch you mienuni, and na ya admit you know, and I just say yareno, emu e den ya na, or more a keep of fingers crossed, na omo sugu yanko pons to say, a divine intervention, a bema doctor Thomas Mensa, a to me a sorry bill. But and pedi for ka se bi se se owo kura de enkwan to menyi ntino enei dr thomas mensa ajimu is going to be with the lord at the age of 74 but nobody can downplay the significance the impact ya a person like dr thomas mensa enya e wo wi ase so se de me sha se na make up the invention of fiber optics and nanotechnology na adia some of us are so proud of to be Africans, Ghanaians as such, eh, yeah, the legacy, yeah, will be to say Dr. Thomas Mensa, a ja, a wo a bibi mine, na a susu san sumpo, a kagana mine. Dr. Thomas Mensa kasebi ya noa, na o kase, way back in 2017, emra na nado dan koku fuado, e ba America bluchi me, wuna wo di jume, na wo hu noon was ah, doc, you have enormous knowledge, a DNT, and a woman, a form. Now, we may impact this knowledge in our home country. Now, we have more and development in Kosovo because NSP trains, bullet trains, yeah, yeah, Juma across Europe, across the Americas. Why? And our invention here, the in Abai. In fact, Dr. Thomas Mensa Tina, another Dan Koku for the Super, Emma, and then each in Morgana. No, but Ghana, no, so no, I'm a transfer. And then you bet me the SSC, you will say Ghana, a war standard gauge rail network as a result of. Dr. Thomas Mensa. As soon as you saw it, the Thema to Pakadan Rail. A BM was saying a designer the Buankra Rail Project. A BM the Kojokrom Takra de Takwa, yeah, your friend, the Western Rail Line also. The design was done by Dr. Thomas Mensa. Who do you want to the Ghana Railway Sector? About 90% of railway lines, yeah, 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 across this country, the design is as a result of this noble man. Ain't he? Ghana, you know, some for so, and Sana, or Doman Kumu, a Tony, sir, a day, a friend, Dr. Thomas Mensa. Now, in our platform, you see, you see, you see, you see, you see, you see, let's take you down memory lane. Now, you see, you see, you see, you see, you see, who is Dr. Thomas Mensa? Ye kase nina ano, papa no, e video so, e eh, bo waho. The last interview of Grant ye, proud to, e eh, ni, ni wono, ye be bo, en so, e eh, di achiramo. Dr. Thomas Mensah was born 
on the 4th of March 1950. Or a Ghanaian-American chemical engineer and an inventor yeah, who contributed to the development of fiber optic manufacturing and of nanotechnology. He was inducted into the U.S. National Academy of Inventors in 2015. In 2017, Dr. Thomas Mensah served as the editor-in-chief of the textbook Nanotechnology Commercialization, published by John Wiley and Sons. Now, Dr. Thomas Mensah, I said, I don't know what I'm saying. My father is J.K. Mensah, now he's a merchant, he's a ship of cocoa products to chocolate manufacturers in France. Now, he's very, very fluent in French. Emma winning the national French competition in Ghana, both at the ordinary levels and the advanced levels. Dr. Thomas Mensah in a secondary education at a disorder college in Kepus. And after your completing your undergraduate studies in chemical engineering at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, later will receive a French government fellowship to study at Montpellier University in France. A brother of or sign a program at Massachusetts Institute of Technology where I will receive a certificate in modeling and simulation of chemical process. That is in 1977. A year later, Dr. Thomas Mensah graduated with PhD in chemical engineering from Montpellier University. The other educational idea, Chasenya Semketua, is a man who occurred more than 10 PhDs across various investors in this world. Down the career, Oyejuma at Air Products and Chemicals from 1960 to 63. In 1963, Dr. Thomas Mensah joined in Corning Glass Works. Yeah, no, Oyejuma was more fiber optics research. There was Sullivan Park in New York. Now, on the Namua, on the Namua, on the Namua, and I just say inventions, you know, a chassis, yes, a Yejuma, and from fiber optics, then to nanotechnology. Now, U.S. Department of Defense, Dr. Thomas Mensah, LED program to develop the first laser-guided weapons for the U.S. Department of Def Defense. Actually, obey your president and CEO, I demand the Georgia Aerospace Systems, yeah, and manufacture nanocomposite structures used in missiles and have aircraft for the U.S. Department of Defense. Now, Dr. Thomas Mensah said on various boards of several organizations, able to say um, the National Board of Directors for the American Institute of Chemical Engineers, and for some a board member at the NASA, or a board member at the Georgia Institute of Technology, Obey a board member at the U.S. National Academy of Inventors. Obey a chairman at the Entertainment Arts Research Incorporated in the United Kingdom. And then in the U.S.C. Now, he is the creator of Silicon Valley of the South in the United States, the state of Texas. Now, I was a hodwa, Dr. Thomas Mensah, a receiver the Tennis Trumpet Award for Fiber Optics Innovation, the Golden Touch Award, that is the highest award by National Society for Black Engineers, Afi Eminent Engineers Award, the African Genius Award, awarded by the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Afi also received the Honorary Doctor of Science Award, also from the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. International Business Leadership Award from the African Leadership Magazine in Atlanta, Georgia. Afe Osai Inya, the Chemical Engineering um, Best Innovator Award from the Chemical Engineering Progress Magazine in the United States of America. Osai A received an award as the best inventor in the 20th century. Emra Ode superconductor in nanotechnology a bag and only lead to bullet trains in europe bullet trains in europe and also receive an award ever and if you receive an award from the state of georgia yeah a year 
nanotechnology commercialization inventor. In fact, he is a decorated Ghanaian. He can be a very decorated. It is Dr. Thomas Mensa. It is Dr. Thomas Mensa. And Ghanaians will forever be grateful to Dr. Thomas Mensa. Because we have a standard gauge We have a standard gauge rail network. From Tema to Pakadine. From Tema to Pakadine. And from the death of Insane PTV, you bet me a can say, Rest in peace, Dr. Thomas Mensa. Your legacy still lives on. Santa Four said, Bema Bibi. Now I'm in here. So now let's go and enjoy. The last interviewer, Dr. Thomas Menza Granteya, and he or the Efri Atasafasa. It's part of the, of, of the bullet train project because he spoke eloquently last time on how the, 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 the Bankra inland port is going to be used, how we can finance it. So he, he will speak on that. But this is so serious. But what we are doing, Emmanuel, we are putting fibrotics along the lines of the railway. So every place that the railway will reach, all the towns, all the stations, there will be fiber, fiber optics. And you can have internet cafes, you can have all these there, like they have in America. So this is serious. That's going to transform, if you will, the internet. It will bring internet prices down. You know, internet prices are, so it will bring it down. But that fiber optics allow us to do innovative things, even the fast train. As a matter of fact, you'll be shocked because you can take your phone when you go to the train station and the QR code over that train station will allow you to get onto the train. You just, show, you just take your, your, your cell phone and the QR code, it, it lets you into the train and onto the train. Of course, you can be using your, 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 your laptops in the train, just like the Kenyans are doing right now. Kenya already has a fast train. Can you believe it? They have built it already since I started talking about it. Kenya has it. Right now, Mombasa, when you're going from, 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 from in Kenya, when you're traveling to Mombasa, the port, can you believe you cannot even get a seat on the train for three months? You got to wait for three months. So they are enjoying it. We should have it here. Mm. The whole world. Mm. There are, there, there are, Actually, three white people, okay. Bob Mauer, Peter Schultz, and Don Kirk, and me from Ghana, mm. who invented that technology. So when you press send, and your photo is in Bogatanga, yeah. you press send, and it's yep. in Australia, yep. China, yep. the whole world. Mm. I am the inventor mm. that makes that happen. And it's, it's, it's shocking when you say that, because, you see, um, one of the things that we've, always sort of underplayed ourselves in Ghana and in terms of because we're right away in a season that we refer to as this is Ghana and um, we're focusing this weekend on an exhibition as you can see on my t-shirt here yes. this is Ghana exhibition like it. it's happening um, this weekend Saturday and Sunday you know the, and, and, and one of the things that we've, we've, we've felt over the years is that a lot of Ghanaians think the best things come from everywhere else apart from here Yes. You see, but you are from Kumasi. I'm from, I was born in Kumasi. You were born in Kumasi? Yes. Me a Ghanaian. Right. Wow. Right. Me a Ghanaian. You okay. were Kumasi. Okay. And so um, you invented this technology that now allows people to sit in the comfort of their own home yes. and send a video or a photo to somebody 6,000 miles away. Yes. And it, it drops at an instant. Yes, because it's traveling at the speed of light, 186,000 feet per second. Mm. The lasers, you know, yeah. and they send it. Yeah, yeah. All right, so now let's move on to why you're in Ghana at this point in time. What's happening? Well, Nanado, the president, yes. came to the United States. Okay. Into my office. Mm. I'm on the top of the tallest building in Atlanta. Okay. Came and said, doctor, You've done all this for America. Mm. Come and help your own country. And that's why I came in okay. 2017. Okay. You know. So now mm. I do 90% of my time in Ghana. Okay. 10% in the US. Oh, I see. Okay. It used to be the, the, the other, other way around. around. Yes. Okay. So you spend more time in Ghana now. Yes. Okay. Well, now, uh, in terms of 
impact and giving back and, you know, bringing what you've learned and experienced and done over the years to Ghana. Yes. What are, what are some of the things you're doing now? What are, we, what are you doing? Knowledge transfer, you know. Yeah, for what? example, mm. you heard that I created a Silicon Valley of Ghana. Silicon Valley of Ghana. Yeah. And Silicon Valley is the, the, the platform that I use to train the youth in Ghana. Okay. You know, I have two people. I uh, have uh, uh, 40 professors there teaching all kind of subjects. Right here in Ghana? Uh, yes. Okay. At the Kofi Annan ICT Center. Okay. Okay. And Kofu is one of my assistants. And over here, mm. uh, I have Rashid. Okay. Rashid is training people in entrepreneurship. Okay. There. Mm. And so Silicon Valley of Ghana is so important. When I created it, mm. the whole world began to hear about Ghana. Oh, there's a Silicon Valley in Ghana. In Ghana. Dr. Mensah is the one that created <laughs> We know Dr. Mensah. Yeah. As a matter of fact, you will see yeah. in the Silicon Valley book, you see me and Jack Ma. Okay. You know Jack Ma, yes, right? Jack Ma, Ali yes. Baba. Ali Baba, yeah. See me holding my book. Mm. You know, the book is called The Rice Stuff Comes in Black Too. Ah, that's the one you launched a few years ago. Yes. Okay. The right stuff comes in black, black too. too. All repeat after me. The right stuff comes in black too. The right stuff. It comes in black too. Yes. The <laughs> right stuff. Say the right stuff. It comes in black too. The right stuff <laughs> comes in black too. Yeah. I am black. Yeah. I am from Ghana. Yeah. I can do anything that a white person can do, mm -hmm. including even Bill Gates. Mm. Fantastic. So you you make reference to. Um, 21st Century Conference. Yes. And it's, when is it happening? And what are we talking about in the 21st Century Conference? The 21st Century Conference is probably one of the most important things happening in Ghana right now. Okay. What's it about? The 21st Century Conference. Because we are solving problems at this conference. Mm. Most conferences, you go, you hear speeches, go home, nothing happens. Okay. But in this conference, we show, identify the problems and solve it on the spot. Okay. For example, you remember the flooding problem? The flooding, Where yes. it was flooding. Yes. You know, it floods in Tichiman, mm -hmm. Accra, Kumasi, even the Volta region, Kumasi, yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Now, we are bringing the technology that is going to solve it here. Okay. Me and my partner. You know, we are bringing it here. What we do is install eight feet. Mm. Concrete pipes, eight feet tall. Okay. So you are walking in the concrete pipes, there's space above you. Okay. We are installing this in the flood prone areas. Okay. So that when it rains, it goes through the concrete pipe. Mm. Not these gutters okay. that we inherited from the British towns years ago. So we are we are installing this in the flood plain areas and it'll solve the Problem, once and for all, there will mm. be no flooding. We are solving at the conference. Interesting. You, David, you also heard about the Galamse. Yes. Where they've destroyed our water, water, water bodies. bodies. Yes. We are solving it at this conference too. Okay. Because for the first wow. time, we are bringing membrane science technology for okay. the filtration. Okay. And the membrane science technology, it will take the water with all the bad mm. stuff in it and then out goes through mem the membrane yeah. and comes out fresh water. So we are solving these problems at the conference. Okay. So the whole world That's will see that Ghana, we are moving Ghana into the 21st century. Fantastic. So when is it happening? Where is it happening? And then share with us a few of the other speakers who will be, who will be, who will be, who will be on the panel. Excellent. First of all, mm. we are talking to Nanado. Okay. We are talking to Bedia to mm. the secretary, mm. and they are penning in the, the date. Okay. We are looking at, uh, you know, latest early September. Okay. So this is happening. This is very serious. This mm. is one of the most important things that is going to happen. We have great speakers at this conference. Okay. My colleague and my friend, Mani al Matum, Dubai. Yes. He is speaking. Okay. We are bringing these foreign investors to Ghana who are speaking. Arikana, you heard her? Yes, I've heard her. Arikana is coming to speak. Mm. By the way, Arikana is going to talk about, you heard of electric vehicles? She is going to talk about lithium carbonate. Okay. Where they are making and sending it to China. 
and I have from, from Ghana, I have your fee grant, okay. who's also going to talk about the lithium that has been discovered in Ghana. In Ghana yeah. The lithium is going to be used for the electric vehicles. Okay. And we have convinced Elon Musk, $100 billion guy, he's coming to Ghana. Really? Yes. Elon we're is going to be Elon here? Elon is going to be here. <laughs> we are bringing him to Ghana because we convinced him that we have the lithium that can go into electric vehicles. Okay, yeah. And uh, Sam Jonah, mm. who is who in Ghana, is speaking at this conference. Okay. The president is the keynote. Otufo is the, is the second keynote. Okay. Otufo, I just saw him, mm. has done something very impressive. People go out and they come, go overseas. He went to King Henry's uh, yeah, King inauguration. Charles's inauguration, yeah. And what he did, he has signed an MOU was Oxford University, mm. so that the professors from Oxford will come to Ghana, okay. and the professors from Ghana can go to Oxford. Oh, that's beautiful. And the students, vice versa. That's beautiful. Uh, he did that. Mm.